Hi, I'm Tom D, and in this video I want to show you how to secure Kibana using Docker Compose project. Let's start. First, go to my blog. Here you can see QR code that you can scan and use it. This is the article that I wrote about how to secure Kibana using Docker Compose project. You need to scroll down a little bit and here in under the project structure point you can see the link that you can use to download this project. Let's copy that link and go to your terminal. Here in terminal type curl, xget and capital O and this link. You can confirm that it's downloaded. Now it's time to unpack it. tar minus x p v j f and file name. As you can see, the main catalog is uh, Alk Kibana Secure. Let's go to that catalog. Let's open up this project in Visual Studio and we can go to the next point. Next point is a project structure I want to discuss with you. Once you have opened project in Visual Studio, you can see the structure here on the left side. This is exactly the same what you have seen in Terminal. The most important is compose yum file. It contains the structure that is used by Docker Compose to start the services. If you look at the top elements, you can see this is X. X is custom element you can implement in Docker Compose, which is not validated against the structure, against the schema. So here I'm using it to enforce using this variable. So for example, if this variable is not set up, stack version, for example, it will not let me start the Docker Compose file and so on. So all these environment variables became mandatory for this project. Here there is another trick I'm using. I'm using this anchor here alk half check because I want to keep this piece of code under this anchor name so I can use it later on in many places so I don't need to rewrite this code because this health check can be used by many Elasticsearch nodes. So for each of this node defined in the services you don't need to rewrite this five lines. You can basically refer to this alk half check here which I will show you in a moment. If you go to the services and you can see this ES01, which is Elasticsearch, you can see that here I'm referring to this ELK half check here, which let me do the half check of the cluster and I don't need to place these five lines. So I'm saving the space using one line instead of five lines. This is copy, copy paste concept. Okay, we discussed that as well. Let me show you the configs. Config is a section when you have a configuration file that is saved under this name. So you can refer to that, for example, in services, in this installation container, in the configs, I'm referring to this name, which using the file from the local file system, which is here, this file is used. So this is another concept that you can, instead of writing this full path, you can save this full path of the file under the short name and refer to that in the configs under the particular service. That's another concept, save the space in your Docker Compose configuration file. So we discussed the first three elements. Now time to discuss the core of this project, which is services. First, services installation container. You might see in that concept already in the internet when you have seen the official Docker Compose project from Elasticsearch. It's basically creating a bunch of certificates and placing them under the volume. Here you can see there is a volume certs and this volume is used to store the output from this certificate tool. So whatever is created in that container can be used by another containers. As you can see, I'm assigning some IP address. It's not mandatory, but I decided that I will use this concept because I want the static IP addresses. Of course, this installation container is killed once it's done, so it's not necessary. I just kept it as it is. Don't worry about that. Okay. Here, as you can see, there's health check. This is a custom health check, different than the previous one what I was uh, showing you. So here I'm, I'm defining it here. This is important point is a secret. I'm using secrets and this is a curl password. Here in a curl, I'm not using environment variable here. Instead of I'm using the file that contain the username and password. And this file you can see here for curl. It contains the node that is connecting to login and password. And that secret is defined here curl password 
If you go through these services here one by one, you can see that in their definition, most of them have this reference to the secrets. So this uh, installation container creating the certificates and once it's done, it's, it's closing itself. Now there is a, another container that it depends on it, which is ES01. This is Elasticsearch node. It, it's dependent on this installation container. So once installation container has this service healthy status, this is starting and it's using the certificates that were created. It has its own data volume. It's, okay, this is duplicated. Let's remove that. It's not necessary here and save it. Now we can see the ports. So this lets you connect to this container from your local host configs. I mentioned earlier environment variable. You can see only you can see only there is a cluster name here and Elasticsearch password is point to the secret. And you can see this ELK password is, is used here. And you can see the secrets here. ELK password is, is taken from secrets. And here, this, this is the file ELK password. So passwords are not taken from environment variables. Passwords are taken from secrets that are mounted to this special location that is read only under the slash run slash secrets in Docker container. Here I'm using the license that is taken from the environment variable here. There are the environment variables defined. So in this case, I'm using trial version. You can see the ports here. You can see the memory configuration the version of Elasticsearch, the name of the cluster, the Compose project name as well. But that's it. There is no passwords here. And uh, once this Elasticsearch node is up and running and healthy, which is checked by the status of the cluster is green, you can see Password Setter. Password Setter is a small container that is based on the curl image. This small container basically set the password for Kibana system user. Here you can see that I'm using this as a data binary. I'm using this Kibana password file, which you can check here in the secret section. Kibana password is a Kibana system pass here. And this is the structure because this is a JSON file that I'm sending using the curl. This will set up the password for this Kibana user, this Kibana underscore system user. And that will let Kibana to connect to Elasticsearch and create initial indexes. Now there is another container, Kibana Keystore. This container is dependent on the previous one, Password Setter. Once this Password Setter service is completed successfully, it's starting up this Kibana Keystore. Service is a container based on the Kibana and its main role is to create Kibana Keystore and to store the password in that Keystore because when you start the Kibana, it can use Kibana Keystore to get the password, to get security settings from there. Password that was set up here, it was set up on the Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch knows about this password. When you provide that password, it, it, it will recognize it. It will compare it to its hashes and let you get in the system. But Kibana somehow need to provide that password and how to store it. So here's the answer. There is a Kibana key store. It can be password protected as well this uh, key store. It's creating the key store. It's putting it here in the volume because the volume is mounted as this directory. So the output from this command from Kibana key store once created and populated with the password of Elasticsearch. This is the key Elasticsearch.password. It is stored in this volume so it can be accessed by the next container. Secrets is used here. Kibana password 2. And Kibana password 2 is a, another file. It's just one line, contain only password, nothing else, no new line character here. And finally, you have a Kibana 01, which is a Kibana service based on Kibana official Docker image, of course. It has assigned static IP address. And as you can see, it's dependent on a Kibana key store service. Once the key store service completed successfully, it's starting up. It's using custom configuration here. It has a volume here as well, config volume, so it can access the key store that was created uh, in the previous step. It has a Kibana password secret here. Kibana password, 
which is Kibana password is not necessary here. So I can remove that secret. Okay, save it. And volumes. So now you know the structure of the Docker Compose file. It was the last element, last service that is starting with this Docker Compose. Please note down there is environment variable here, setup, elastic search username, which is Kibana system. And there is no password for this username because password is taken from the key store, which is mounted, it's, it's placed in the config catalog, which is in the volume. And of course you have a certificates available here. So now you can see, okay, volume definition is very short, their default volume here, nothing to describe here, but networks. Networks, as you can see, there's a subnet mask. So using this, this pool for addresses, I assign static addresses because then I can configure them here in this Elasticsearch CertUT instances YAM file. So the certificates can contain the IP address as well, which is important for the full verification mode for Elasticsearch. You can see that in a Kibana configuration that verification mode is full here. And also for Elasticsearch YAM file, the verification mode is also full. Okay, now time to start this cluster. You can close that file and you can basically type dot slash start and enter. As you can see, the containers are started. First is installation container, which will create the certificates, then Elasticsearch is starting. Once Elasticsearch is started and it has a green status, it will trigger another containers in a sequence. Now Kibana is starting. Soon you should see the message that Kibana is available. Yeah, there was a short message here. Kibana is now available, so let's go to Kibana. Here there is a warning that there's unknown certificate authority because this is auto-generated by this, by this tool, so it's not known certificate authority for that web browser. Of course, you can go to the web browser setting and add this CA to the settings, so it will accept that and it will not show you the warnings anymore. Okay, advanced, proceed to localhost and you can see that there is a screen, logging screen. Of course, you can check also here in the terminal, you can connect to Kibana. First, you can download this CA certificate and then you can execute this command to connect to that Kibana. And as you can see, you are connected using TLS, so your connection is encrypted. Now in a web browser, Elastic as a username and 123456 as a password. And here you are, you are right now in the Kibana connection from web browser to Kibana server is encrypted and from Kibana to Elasticsearch is also encrypted. So you have fully encrypted Elasticsearch cluster. To stop this cluster and clean up all the volumes means remove all the volumes, run stop docker compose cluster script dot slash stop. It will stop all the containers and remove the volumes as well as the network. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to visit my blog where you can find this article and you can find ready to use code snippets to copy paste and execute it on your environment. Here you can find also the upcoming course, all these tips and tricks about Elasticsearch. Stay tuned so you will not miss the moment when it will be published. Have a nice coding. Bye.